What can we change in the list reveal hover blurb? So we've got a background color, we've got an image, and we've got some text, and that also links out. So let's have a look. Let's try the middle one this time around. First of all, you want to pay attention to the image size. It's 300 pixels by 283 pixels. You should do it exactly the same size. Prepare the image beforehand and then upload it and put it into that location. You can just come and apply the image over here. Um, what's important is that the image is cut out like this one. It's going to have a transparent background, otherwise the uh, background will not pick up. You can try to do it uh, with a normal picture, see how that works for you. Uh, this was how this one was designed. Of course, you can open the PSD file and grab that uh, image there and then update it the way that you want to update it. So let's keep going a little bit further. Can't see anything we want to update here except, of course, for the text, which you can do. And of course, you can add a link if that's what you want. Let's go to d design, see if we've got anything here. There's a color over here, so let's have a squares. Okay, we just want to grab, let's just make it a normal uh, dark green color for the font there. All right, let's keep going further. Body text, let's just change it anyway. All right. Nothing further yet. Let's just look in advance, see if we can find anything. Nothing here that's important. And we can save and update. Let's take a quick look, see what it looks like. All right, there we go. As you can see the uh, color has changed of the text over here and that color, but our background color hasn't changed. And for that, we need to go to the um, master CSS file. We want to look out for the list reveal hover blurb and it's commented here gray box on hover color this one is a little bit different we don't have a hex color we actually have an rgba color and the a stands for opacity um, i have already prepared a color here this will be the mint green but in opacity of 0.7 so let's paste that in there uh, if you don't know how to pick the RGBA color, I recommend just to do a Google search and figure that one out for yourself. It won't take long. Let's copy that. And then what we can do is just paste it into our custom CSS box for the page. Let's hit the save button, update, and then we can reload. There we go. Perfect. That's how you update this guy. Thanks for watching.